I got a chance to listen to uh Lightning. You know, I really like that that vibe with yeah. the horns. Uh, you know, tell us creatively like what inspired you to write Lightning. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you know, I think it gives like the Rocky Balboa vibes for sure, yeah, right? Yeah. And when I was um, you know, I made the instrumental. So when I when I was working on the instrumental, I really got that Rocky vibe and what it is is uh Lightning is a is a real boxer that lives in my hometown here and he's getting ready to debut his boxing career. So I let him know that I was going to write this song about him and uh, we're getting ready to make a video with him. He um, actually trains where Mike Tyson trained in Custom Auto's gym in Catskill, New York. Wow. So we're going to be doing the video in Custom Auto's gym. Um, I think that's going to be really, really dope. And, you know, just another way for me to give back to somebody that I'm, you know, that I'm really looking up to right now that's getting ready to do something big. I said, look, I want I want you to come out to this track when you when you have your boxing debut. And he hit me back and he was like, absolutely. I love the song. I love how you keep that 90s style alive, but still put that modern twist on it. So he definitely um, gave me the love and uh, and uh, appreciation I was looking for for it, for sure. Man, that that uh, is pretty dope. Now, as far as like when you wrote it, like is this everything that you knew about him or like did you just sit down and kind of like talk to him like how it's funny all... because i don't really know much about him at all you know i mean i just know that his pops um or the person that you know that mentors him and that kind of you know takes him on in his life is uh is a boxer himself and a well-known person that educates the kids of the youth around here and gives them a platform to be able to learn how to box instead of getting in trouble and stuff so i just felt like uh it was a good opportunity for me to create some really really um outside the box and you know just kind of you know being a being a big fan of rocky and all of those movies and stuff i just thought it was a dope opportunity to create that kind of track you know being i'm 42 you know i'm gonna be 43 in a couple of months myself okay and that's what's up a lot of times like and i'm sure you get this you might have people in your comments and you know just saying oh you're, you're an old real, head. My man. yeah they hate yeah real I actually, and, I actually have the, you know what I mean? I have this right here. This is my, this is a hardback cover. This, this is, you know, this is super, it's super dope because my entire journey is in there from, from the beginning to right where we're at now to where it's got me, you know, to the point where it's gotten me. So when I was, you know, lugging my butt straight to New York City on trains to get back to town, to get back to my job, you know, within the wee hours of the morning and trying to freestyle in these, you know, grimy clubs and the underground dirty Manhattan clubs and everything I was doing it and I was you know I was putting myself out there so much and getting taken by different you know getting taken advantage of by different managers that swore they was going to give me this and that it's just been a lot of learning lessons you know and then a lot of um you know substance abuse things like that that came in my life and really if I had just focused on exactly what my talent was you know I would have made it a long time ago but because of the aspects of life getting in the way, um, I think that's where it put me at now. And but it gave me a more of appreciation, and I feel like I'm more battle ready than I've ever been in my whole life. It's crazy. Now I'm ready to like get back out there and just like you know just kind of take over. And that's where it's at right now because I wasn't as savvy, I wasn't as disciplined, I wasn't as uh, grounded. You know what I mean? And I thank my family for that, my wife and kids, of course, and. Uh, you know, these are the type of things that people need to go through in order to really, you know, understand, OK, OK, well, what are we what are we going to do with the next five years? You know what I mean? So I got a plan and that's where I'm at. 